All in all, was being in the Stones a great gig or was it hell? It was both. Heaven and hell. Roller coaster ride. No, but seriously, it was mostly a lot of fun, but towards the end of my period with the Stones, it got very, um, it got very laborious and monotonous, and a lot of people, um, there were a lot of people around the Stones that seemed to drag them down and hold them back, and, uh, you know, obviously the, um, certain people's addiction to drugs didn't help, and it was really became very difficult, especially for Mick Jagger, who just seemed to be capable of um, overcoming anything. It, he found it very difficult to um, get the, al the albums finished and the albums made, so he was extremely annoyed when I left. And, uh, but I, I think, or at least I hope, he's forgiven me by now. Because it hasn't really affected their, uh, their um, long-term financial stature. <laughs> In fact, uh, if, you, if you'd have said to any of the Rolling Stones, including Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, if they would still be together now, I, I don't think they would have said, yes, we will be. Uh, it's. I don't think any of us, any of us imagined uh, that we that we would still be um, getting up on stage and playing and doing shows to live audiences. I know that when I played with Bob Dylan in the 19, the early 1980s, I went to a, at the Hollywood Bowl, and I think he, he was just approaching his 50th birthday, and um, I knew him quite well through making this album called Infidels in 1984. And I remember him saying to me backstage, do you think you'll be doing this when you're 50? And I said, maybe. And um, here I am at 60 doing it. So you never know. I mean, I always had an instinct uh, and, a, and, a, and a feeling from very early on that I would, uh, I would uh, be a, a successful guitar player if nothing else.